Hello guys, good morning. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another exciting episode on New Build Day from Salvage Nation. We've got a new GTI on the channel and it's not that old GTI, it's this GTI. Let's check it out. guys so take a look at this we've got a new build and it's a 2019 VW Golf GTI and this car boy we're gonna start right here I'm gonna give you a full walk around and then I want to jack it up strip it down you know the process I want to see what's going on with that wheel because <laughs> that wheel has gone for a little walkabout down there but before we get to that have a look front end if you came from this angle it actually looks quite nice it's quite aggressive it's one of the latest models before this generation ended so yeah the spec on this is going to be crazy have a look at the light here light is broken and that's a shame because this headlight is going to be an arm and a leg the front bumper from this corner here it's not even something that we can repair the front bumper is actually gone so we're gonna to have to get a front bumper right there I want to take this off and see, I can see a lot of broken stuff beneath there. I need to get behind there and see exactly what's going on. But this is the main issue and this is the main problem for today. I always like to get my cars running as soon as I get them. And as you can see, that wishbone down there is completely gone. The ball joint has popped off as well, so I need to get a new ball joint, new wishbone. Now, the drive shaft on this one, normally the VW drive shafts, they kind of screw onto the gearbox. This one just pops in and it looks like it's just popped out. If the internals of this drive shaft is okay, I should be able to pop it back in and get the car running with that drive shaft. Hopefully it's not bent, but we'll know more as we progress with the build. The hub here looks all right, but once again, we'll know more once we strip it back. Moving around, you can see we need a new wing. Wing panel is completely gone, but we still got the GTI badge and there's some little clips that I need to remove off of that. Now this is a shame, this mirror, is power folding i can hear it chiming inside it's, it's definitely broken and it's not moving i don't know why so that's a new power folding mirror that we need to get now this door has got some damage but that is something that we can kind of straighten back out fix that have a look it's just bent right there at the edge so it's not too bad driver side rear door there's no damage the suspension on the rear no damage and the alloys are all in good condition as well the rear quarter has got no damage and the rear of the car has got no damage and there's no damage to this driver's side. It's a bit tight here, so bear with me, but there's no damage coming all the way around to the driver's side. So, one thing I always stress is when I get cars from the salvage yard, I always get cars that sustain localized damage. I hate getting cars, I, I never really do get cars that've got damage here, there, and everywhere because the costs are gonna be too much. So bear that in mind. Right, now that I've given you a quick walk around of the exterior, let's get inside and see what the inside is in. Have a look at that virtual cockpit, just comes alive as soon as you open the door. Have a look at the steering wheel, steering wheel's all good and the interior is actually matching the Mark V Golf <laughs> interior. Um, it's interesting how they've kept, they've kept the general shape, the colours, everything. I quite like that. Let me know what you think of this interior. I think it's really, really nice, really, really clean. Um, however, ugh, what is that? That is disgusting. <laughs> and it actually stinks, it smells. Yeah, I think it's a coffee. Yeah, it's, it does smell. It smells a bit like vanilla, but a funky vanilla, if that ever makes sense to you. <laughs> it smells like funky vanilla. Oh, man. But looks like someone has gone through the glove already because I didn't open that. It's got this massive touchscreen, just like the Golf R's that I've been doing. So it's a nice spec. It's, just, it's, it's like a more affordable Golf R, man. The only thing that I wish it had was glass roof, but it hasn't got the glass roof. But we can live with that. We can live with that. Where's the key? I've got the key. I want to see if the engine starts. Ugh, it was a running driving car. Well, not driving, but it was a running car. I have got brake, which is surprising. I thought that that brake line would have been damaged. Then it starts right up. Upon delivery, I did ask my delivery driver to check the oil, etc, etc. Because I wasn't here for delivery. I was busy at the other garage doing some bits. Um, but yeah. I'll just let that warm up for a bit and whilst that warms up, I'll open up the bonnet and show you the engine. 
have a look at that engine very very clean it's ticking over nicely like yeah 2019 car I wouldn't expect any engine problems um, the mileage on this is very low um, I can't remember I'll double check in a second but that engine is perfect everything's ticking over nicely there I wanted to check up here, there's no top chassis damage here, which is good. There's no damage to the front slam panel area. All of this seems to be intact, no issues there. So it's looking like a nice, easy rebuild, barring this suspension. I'm a bit worried about that. Um, and I'm hoping that the gearbox isn't damaged as well. If you imagine, that would have got ripped out in the accident. I'm just trying to get to the car information, vehicle status, what is that? It's just got a lot of errors for the brakes because obviously that side is completely gone. Key not found, okay. Like I'm so not a VW and Audi guy. Like, give me a BMW, I'll find the mileage in no time. I just want to get the mileage. Bloody hell. Audio. Vehicle status, man. It should be in the vehicle status. Ah, I can't waste any time with that. Guys, if you know how to bring up the mileage on these new golfs, do let me know. But for now, I want to go jack up the car and I want to see what's going on with that passenger front wheel. Alright you guys, so I've removed this drive shaft, I've removed the wheel as you've seen and I've got a better view of all the damage. Dare I say I've struck luck on this build so far. So, immediately it looks like the shock is okay but I'll know more once we drive it. So I'm going to leave that for now. If it is causing any issues, I can always change that in the future. It looks like the hub is okay. It's just popped out the ball joint right there. That's the ball joint that goes into this bearing right here. That's popped out. And then I need to get a new wishbone, which I've already got. I just need to order this down. It looks like the control arm for the steering is okay. Everything else seems to be okay, but this is what I'm happy about. Have a listen. If that was breaking, you'll be hearing a crunching noise inside when you shake it. So for now, I'm gonna reinstall this into the gearbox on that side, it just pushes in. And I can install this back onto the car and hopefully, hopefully we can get the car running. But first I need to remove this bad boy. It looks mad, doesn't it? Oh, you good, man. I'm eating, man. Come on, man. Come on, man. <laughs> you're gonna think I'm a fat, I'm a gym person, man. <laughs> it's all mad. You're lucky, though, man. You got away yeah. with a few bits of much, Hello, lucky. But yeah, we're gonna sort this out. This one definitely you're gonna meet me on the A46. We're going for a drive. This? Yeah, we're going for a drive. Why am I gonna come in my fucking truck? <laughs> yeah, man. Look at the light. Oh, you changed it. Mad. This is a Mazzolini. Okay guys, so as you can see, I went ahead and I've repaired the, I've replaced this wishbone and I've popped the drive shaft back into place. But I'm annoyed with this design from VW. So this bolt right here is for the wishbone. And as soon as it comes out about an inch, it hits onto the bottom of the gearbox and it kind of it fits into that space right there, very snug. I don't know if you can see that actually. Yeah, so it's, it's knocking onto there. So I had to drop the subframe. So this is the subframe. Subframe attaches to the wishbone. 
um, I had to drop the subframe, push it down so it can clear this gearbox, get that out, get it back in, and then I can go ahead and replace all the subframe screws right there. But all we're waiting for now is the ball joint. Let me show you what it looks like. Right at the end of the wishbone right here is a ball joint. Um, I've ordered a brand new one. That's gonna come down in about half an hour. So guys, whilst I wait for the ball joint to come, that should be here in about half an hour, I can go ahead and strip down the wing and all these other damaged bits here. So I'm gonna put you on a time lapse, strip down all the front, and then hopefully that part comes in. We can get that sorted. There we go. Cool, man. Thank you very much. All right, thank yeah? you, man. Subscribe. All right. Thank you. Cool, bye. So, guys, there you have it. Delivery of that part just came. Guys, on It's the same thing, man. Every time someone sees you working on the car with a camera, they're like, what's this about? I always give them a little air freshener. Subscribe to the channel. Just got a new delivery of air fresheners, so I know that there's some of you guys who haven't gotten your stuff. You'll be sending them out. DM me if you haven't received your air fresheners. But anyway, as you can see, we went ahead and got the bumper off. I just need to unplug some of the plugs down there. But there's no damage up here. No damage to that front stem panel, like I said. I'm going to go ahead and get that headlight out. I noticed that this water bottle here has got a massive crack, so we need to replace that. Obviously, the headlight. But so far, it's looking good. I'm not seeing anything too nasty that I'm concerned about. But anyway, um, I'm going to get this off stick you on a time lapse, get all of that buckled up and I want to take the car for our first drive. you guys have a look at that it's taken a lot longer than I expected but we managed to sort out this complete suspension corner and I've got a space saver tire that was in the boot slap that on there and this car technically should be driving I haven't tried yet because I want to do it with you guys on camera just want to show you though as you know the wings broken the headlight is broken the grill is all good so I'm gonna put all of these bits in the car I'm not gonna throw anything away until the build is over you never know I might need a clip or something that's on these old parts Coming back to this section here though, we've got some slight damage to this top chassis arm here. Um, as you can see, it's just pushed down ever so slightly, but there's nothing too major. I've showed you already, the front end is all good and there's no major damage kind of in there. This bottom still is kind of kinked upwards, but that's literally, I don't know if you can see how skinny that is, that will shape back. We'll be able to bend that back into shape, no problem. And then when it comes to bodywork, we can get all of that looking 110%. Um, now I know what parts I need, I can go away, order some parts, we're going to be straightening this door as you can see, before the wing goes on, it's easy to access all of this damage now so we can straighten out all of that. But for now, let's jump in the car, I want to make sure that the gearbox is working, make sure the car is driving, I'll get the drone up so you guys can see, I'm just going to drive it down to the bottom of the lane and back, and then that's it, we can start to wrap up. So guys, there we have it, the drone is up, first drive, potentially, hopefully, <laughs> hopefully everything is working. With the gearbox that is, slowly does it. Wow. 
Brakes are working. Something scraping, but we have movement and we have drive. Happy days. There you go. Reverse is working as well. Yep, that's finally come on. No parking sensors because the front bumper is off. But yeah, I am happy. Feels a bit weird with that little skinny space saver tire, but everything seems to be going straight. Might need a little bit of tracking. What is that? Got you. I think it's the brake shield. But it's working. Yeah? Yeah. There you go. So guys there you have it that was a success the car's running and driving everything is looking good so this is where we can start to wrap up in one episode we got the car driving as we always do if you want to follow this build subscribe to the channel i'm tired i'm gonna head off so like i always always say keep it moving and i'll see you in the next one guys thank you for watching click here to see what youtube thinks you should watch click here to watch one of my previous episodes and like it said there don't forget to like comment share and subscribe we out